Nearly 100 female veterans are back in Chicago after a whirlwind honor flight to Washington, D.C. Charlie DeMar live at Midway Airport. Charlie, what a day. Brad, this was a very special day for all of these veterans. It is cleared out now, but within about the past half hour, the baggage terminal here at Midway Airport was filled with people welcoming home those 93 veterans who spent the day in Washington, D.C., seeing the different military monuments there. And this honor flight was unique because every veteran aboard was a woman. And there they are arriving at Midway Airport tonight. And while they may have served different branches and, and even have served at different times, there was a strong bond amongst this flight. This again was the first ever all female honor flight, honor uh, dubbed Operation Her Story. Now, some of the veterans I spoke with say for so long they were in the background, overshadowed by men. And today they felt and knew that this was their day. Uh, in my 99 years, I have never been. So overtaken with emotion. To know that this means that we, our sacrifices really matter, it's, it's amazing. Their service mattered in D indeed. And once they were in D.C., the nearly 100 veterans, they stopped at the Women's Memorial and the Vietnam Women's Memorial on this special trip. There were 84 Vietnam veterans, seven Korean War veterans, and get this, two World War II veterans. I had the honor of speaking with one of them, Connie Edwards. It makes me feel like it was not wasted. Our time was not wasted. And we're glad that we could serve. It's an honor to have done it. And now I can appreciate it. I can appreciate what I did. Just an emotional day for all of those veterans as they were welcomed uh, to a huge welcome home, not only once they were here, but also in D.C. for much of the day. This flight was supposed to happen back in 2020, but of course got delayed because of COVID. So even though it was delayed, these vets got their thank you today. We are live from Midway Airport. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Brad.